What does Drake, Jeff Bezos, and Oprah Winfrey have in common? They've all created momentum in their respective careers. Now, this didn't happen out of thin air, but rather over decades of consistently working within their own individual lanes. Why is momentum important? Because once they were able to get things rolling, they got their, into their flow, and we see where they are today. All extremely successful and absolutely crushing it. Today, I want to talk about the importance of creating momentum, how we can get started, and how we can sustain it over a long period of time. Doesn't matter what your goals are, this can be applicable to any area of your life. Once the momentum is rolling, it will take you anywhere that you direct it to go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's the Bearded Man Podcast with your favorite, the world's favorite bearded man, Bob Bay. Each week on these solo podcasts, I try to share some insights on topics to help you become the best version of yourself. Do I have all the answers? Absolutely not. This is just my beard of wisdom that I hope brings value to you. Now, if you enjoy this episode at any moment in time, please screenshot this app and on whatever platform you are listening in on. Post it to your IG story. Tag me at Bob A. That's B-O, three B's, four A's and a Y. Share out the podcast on your IG story. Let me know what the biggest takeaway was, what the learning was, and share it out there with the world. It is the best way that we grow this podcast organically. And every week when I am seeing you beautiful ladies and gentlemen share it out on your IG, it gets me fired up. So please continue to do so. If you have not yet already signed up for the Bearded Wisdom newsletter that comes in hot, Every Tuesday, please head over to itsthebeardedman.com today to join. That is weekly wisdom delivered directly to your inbox. What else could you ask for? That's itsthebeardedman.com to join. There's also a link in the description of this episode to sign up today. Creating momentum. Now, you may not want to be Drake, Jeff, or Oprah, or do anything within their respective careers, which is totally fine. Do I want to sing my ass off in front of 15,000 people every night? Not quite. But would I consider the opportunity if it presented itself? Well, don't tempt me with a good time. I look at all of these three savages and I say to myself, they are examples of what is possible if we are able to build momentum with something and stay consistent with it over a long period of time. Now, I'm only five years into my podcasting career, and you better believe I feel like I am just getting started, but I know that is not the truth. Since starting in 2016, I've built quite a bit of momentum for myself in the space. As of now, I've recorded well over 250 plus interviews, 75 plus solo podcasts, and I've created a handful of other series that I'm really proud of. Now, some concepts have stuck. Others have been phased in and phased out, and that's totally cool. That's fine. One thing is for sure is that I'm in a met, I'm in a excuse me, I'm in a much better position today as a creative than I was back in 2016. And that's because I stayed consistent and I let the momentum carry me to where I am today. Now let's talk about momentum for a quick second. There are two possible definitions: a theoretical more physical definition and a practical definition. The theoretical one may bring you back to high school physics class, which I'm sure you all loved oh so much, which is momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Now the good news is that that's a that's a, about as far as we're gonna go into that definition today. So don't worry, we're not going back into physics class. The practical one, which is our focus for today's convo, is the strength or force gained by motion by a series of actions. Let me say that one more time. The strength or force gained by motion by a series of actions. What does that mean? More actions equals more motion gained. In today's terms, reps on reps on reps will help us get motion. The more bicep curls you do, the bigger your arms get. The more podcasts recorded, the better the host gets with time. The more times someone picks up that paintbrush, they be- the better they will get with that craft. You guys and gals picking up what I'm putting down, 
series of same actions equals momentum. Momentum equals growth. So how do we use momentum to our advantage is the million dollar question of today's episode. Well, it's quite simple. We use momentum to get us from point A to point B. I'm talking career, passion projects, friendship, dating, or literally insert any other aspect of your life where you have a goal and you want to make improvements. Once you get things rolling, it is our responsibility to keep it rolling. Are there going to be speed bumps that pop up along the way? Yes. Are there going to be days that we are not feeling it? Yes. Are we going to need to make adjustments in real time? Absolutely. It isn't going to be this perfect straight path with daisies and rainbows along the way as much as I wish that was the truth. But it will be a path that if we follow for long enough, it will lead us to where we want to be. Better yet, it'll be a path that we develop every step of the way. So why wouldn't we follow it? From my experience, there are four steps to creating momentum. So let's get into it, baby. Number one, just start. In order to start truly building that momentum, one must be willing to make the first step and get started. In most cases, it is the hardest step because we are starting at zero miles per hour and it feels like we are pushing this car up a hill instead of down it. The reality is once you take that first step, you are off to the races. The momentum will feel small, but it for sure has started. Now, I had no idea what I was doing when I was considering entering the podcast space, so I started taking small steps. I bought the equipment one day. I brainstormed the concepts for months and then landed on it one day. I sat in my buddy's studio thinking of title until he actually landed it for me. I researched for hours, prepping for that first guest, and then I recorded it. At the time, these small step, excuse me, these small steps felt so insignificant to the bigger picture. But in reality, they were all playing a huge role in building momentum. By the time I released that first ep episode, I had three others recorded that were ready to be released. But how did I have the courage to get started is the question. I recognized I had nothing to lose and everything to gain. That even if I did fail, I'd be able to look back on my life and, and at least know that at least I went for it and have zero regrets knowing that I could live my life thinking back and going, you know what, bearded man, you gave it a try. But ever since then, I just kept doing it, right? And pretty much the rest is history. Five years later, we, we've made some pivots. We've rebranded as, an, as another show, but we are still here today cooking up that high quality podcast content. We started, we had a small hiatus, but we still keep going. There is something in your heart that you really want to do, but you have made every excuse in the book to not do it. And it's okay because everyone else has been in your position, including myself, but I'm here to convince you that it is worth pursuing. Stop telling yourself a bad story of all the bad things that may come from it. And instead, think about all the great opportunities that can come your way if you did start. In order for us to create any amount of momentum, we must first get started. It is by far the hardest first step, but it is crucial to any new beginning. Number two, stay consistent and be selective with distractions. Now clap it up for yourself one time because at this point, the momentum has begun because you have the courage to take the first step. So well done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's think back to our practical definition from before. Force gained by motion by a series of actions. Let's now define series. A number of things, events, or people of, of a similar kind or related nature coming one after another. What does this mean? Well, I thought you never would ask. In order to start gaining true momentum, we must be willing to stay consistent and show up. A series of consistent action is going to be the fuel for the momentum vehicle. 
Some goals may only take one initial step, but the majority of them will take multiple steps or even hundreds depending on the size of the goal. But is it possible? Absolutely. Is it easier said than done? You better believe it. But we have the ability to cross off any item on our list of goals so long as we stay consistent. What pulls us away from consistency is distractions. The birthday party for our friend, the night at the club, which has us hungover as fuck the next day, the new series of Outer Banks on Netflix that we need to binge before anyone spills the beans on the season, insert every other distraction possible. We need to get real good at ignoring these distractions and staying committed to what we set out to accomplish. Remind yourself of the long-term results versus where you are today. These small decisions of where we spend our time may feel like nothing in the moment, but they will stack up in time. The question I often ask myself is, am I willing to attend this event or give this person my energy at the sacrifice of me not putting that time and energy towards my personal goals. Now, I'm not saying you can't live a balanced lifestyle. I'm actually all for it. But we can't be sacrificing every day of the week towards the things that aren't helping us continue to build our momentum. We must be extremely selective. If something or someone doesn't excite you to say an immediate yes, say no and don't feel like you owe anybody an excuse. You could simply just say, sorry, I've got other things I need to focus on right now and leave it at that. It is not easy to do at first, but it is absolutely crucial if we want to keep any amount of momentum going. As we build consistency over a period of time, we must be very selective with what or who we allow to distract us. Living a balanced lifestyle is healthy, but we must make sure it is balanced and not fully disrupting our momentum. Number three, pick up where you left off. This point is very important to me on a personal level because when I was starting this podcast, It's the Bearded Man, I was coming off of nine months of not podcasting. No regrets. I'm glad I had the stillness to realize that I was really passionate about this podcasting craft, but it was tough in the moment to then jump back into it. Now, at the time of stepping away, it had been something that I had done consistently on a weekly basis for three and a half years straight, and it became my identity. I stopped because I was getting burnt out, and I also had a massive career opportunity presented to me with Liquid IV that I wanted to pour all of my time and energy into. When I had this defining moment where I decided I'm going to get back into the podcasting thing full swing not just one podcast a week, but now two, I told myself not only just get started again, but pick up where you left off. Oftentimes we build momentum, things are going great, and then all of a sudden we hit a roadblock that may put us to a dead stop. Now it's overwhelming and it gets us anxious thinking, wow, how do I even get started again? I just lost all the momentum. We may have been out of the gym for three months too long. We may have been on it. We may not have been on a date for three years. We may not have been in the podcast game in my case for nine months, but it's all fine. It's really no biggie. All we need to do is pick up where we left off. There is no need to make up some narrative about how hard it's going to be to get restarted or what we potentially may have lost since stopping. Thinking about all that nonsense does us no good. And honestly, it just holds us back from getting the ball rolling. When the momentum has come to a complete halt and it feels impossible to get things going again, just pick up where you left off. Don't make up any story in your head about how difficult it will be to get things rolling again. And instead, get things moving in the forward direction. Number four, evaluate the direction you are headed. The last thing I will say is that although I am a huge believer of keeping your head down and putting in the work, it is extremely important to stop and look up every once in a while. Reevaluate where the momentum is taking you and if you like the direction of where it's going. Now, an example, if there's a plane that takes off from Boston and it's going to LA, right? I've done this flight before. 
it's, it's a long one and it's a vibe, but it's a long flight. If these pilots are not constantly addressing, or excuse me, not addressing, assessing the direction of where the plane is going, they're going to be in big trouble. Even if the plane is off one degree after taking off, that one degree multiplied across the 3,000 mile flight plan to get from LA to get from, excuse me, Boston to LA is going to have this plane way off course. Matter of fact, we might be flying over Mexico or maybe even Canada if it's off by a degree. The momentum will take the plane in the wrong direction. Now, as I put out two podcasts a week, I'm constantly picking on my head and thinking, do I like the direction of where the show is going? Should I add or take away anything specific we are covering? What is working? What isn't? What is the big picture? What am I really trying to accomplish? I need to evaluate if where I'm headed is actually the direction I still want to go. Now, as we all know, we change with time and so too do our goals. So so reevaluating the direction is necessary. We did not lose if we make a course correction for where we're headed. We're just making an adjustment. There is no question about it. We are learning and evolving as a person as we pursue our goals and dreams. So no matter what, we'll always be a better version of ourselves than when we started, regardless of how many times the destination changes. As we create and keep momentum moving, we must evaluate the direction we are headed constantly. If not, we may end up somewhere we never intended to be. To recap, what does Drake Jeff Bezos and Oprah Winfrey have in common. They've all created momentum in their respective careers. How did they do it? Well, they stayed extremely consistent over a long period of time. The only way they were able to do that was by starting and never stopping. Do you or I have that within us? Well, of course, we're all humans just like all of them. Once we create the momentum, moment, what? Once we create the momentum, within our respective lives, we need to keep it going. There are four steps that I use to create and keep momentum going. Number one, just start. In order for us to create any amount of momentum, we must first get started. It is by far the hardest step, but it is crucial to any new beginning. Number two, stay consistent and be selective with distractions. As we build consistency over a long period of time, We must be very selective with what or who we allow to distract us. Living a balanced lifestyle is healthy, but we must make sure it is balanced and not fully disrupting our momentum. Number three, pick up where you left off. When the momentum has come to a complete halt and it feels impossible to get things going again, just pick up where you left off. Don't make up any story in your head about how difficult it will be to get things going again, and instead just move forward. Number four, evaluate the direction you are headed. As we create and keep the momentum moving, we must evaluate the direction we are headed constantly. If not, we may end up somewhere we never intended to be. Challenge for the listeners. That is you, ladies and gentlemen. Spend 10 minutes within the next 24 hours considering this. If you have been debating starting something new, make a list of the first couple initial steps it will take to get started. For example, if you're interested in taking your first yoga class, your steps may look like this. First off, buy a yoga mat. Next after that, watch YouTube videos to get a taste of the poses that are used in yoga. Next step after that, sign up for your first class online or at a nearby studio. Next step after that, Take that first class at the studio. Item by item, check off the list and start it. Now, if you were in the pursuit of something already, well, congrats and props to you. Instead, my challenge is to evaluate what distractions you let pull you away and if there's anything or anyone specific that you do not want to be part of your life anymore. Cut it out and use that precious time and energy to go deeper into the things that you love. Lastly, if you stop the momentum 
and you haven't touched the new paint set that you bought or haven't worked out in weeks, well, today is the day. Within the next 24 hours, I want you to get up off your ass and do it. Stop worrying about how the the momentum stopped and jumpstart that baby up. No excuses. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Now, I have a little new community update, right? If you've been listening since the uh, jumpstart of this new podcast, I've been referring to you amazing people that listen to this podcast as the Bearded Man community. Well, we're making a change. That is way too much about me, and it's not enough about us, the group, the people listening, and myself. We are all one. I am not the king. I am not any better than you. I'm not above you. I am right beside you. So moving forward, we are now... Drum roll, please. Can you hear that? Drum rolling on my desk. Sounds so dope. We are now the Stay Dialed community. A community focused on giving our best to every bucket of our life so that we can become the greatest version of ourselves. Same deal. All are welcome. There are no monthly fees. Just encouragement from one peer to the next to keep going. Okay? So from now, moving forward, we are the Stay Dialed Community, or Ensure SDC. That's right. That's us. We stay dialed, baby. Uh, for this topic this week, we didn't have any uh, direct questions. We did have a comment from my friend Nathan Miles. He said, just start, so important. And I completely agree with him. Uh, getting started is the most important part. We also didn't have any new pod reviews of the week, so if you'd like to be next week's pod review, head over to the iTunes podcast app, leave a one word or one sentence review uh, of what you're thinking of the show. It's really important. It helps us climb up the charts of the iTunes podcast app, so head over there today. I think we're at 69 reviews. We'd love to get that baby up to 100 as soon as possible, so if you've had any amount of value um, pulled away from this show in these last 100 plus episodes, it would mean the world for me to head over there and leave a review. Um, I'm always checking it and those numbers really, really do help the the show. So please do so. Um, if you have not yet already signed up for our, our weekly Bearded Wisdom newsletter every Tuesday, head over to itsthebeardedman.com to sign up today or you can hit the link in the description of this episode. Um, if you've enjoyed this podcast today, this specific episode, please, please, please screenshot this episode, post it to your IG story, and uh, tag me at Bob A. That's B O, three B's, four A's, and Y. Share out the podcast on your IG story and let me know what the biggest takeaway was, what the learning was. And uh, it is so important to the growth of this podcast. And seeing you guys and gals share it out every week means the world to me. So keep doing it every single week. Share it out and let the world know that they need to be listening to the Bearded Man podcast. That is episode 117 Creating Momentum. Start, stay consistent and evaluate the direction you are headed. We'll see you next week. It's the Bearded Man Podcast. See ya.